Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the side rear view mirror on this uh, Toyota 4Runner. We show you the driver's side, the passenger side is basically the same. And although mirrors differ somewhat, um, this process is basically the same for any 96 to 2002 uh, 4Runner. The tools you'll need are a small flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a door panel clip tool or a putty knife, and a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet or a wrench. Okay, start with a small screwdriver. Get right under the front here, pry that up, and pull this out. And then there are three um, harnesses to unplug. They each have tabs you press with your thumb and then pull out. Now take your screwdriver again, go up under here, and then pry up. your Phillips screwdriver, screw from here, Then there's a little pin right back here. You push the center of it in and then use either a screwdriver or your fingernails and pull that clip out. Okay, your door handle, pull it forward, bring it out. There's a little clip right here that holds the lock rod. Pull that clip out towards you and then lift the handle up off. Push the rod down, that comes off. Now use either a door panel clip tool or a putty knife and probably start kind of over here, slide down, you'll come to um, some of the pins, I'm going to pop the pins out, just to get to them. also a little pin right up in here that's missing on this vehicle. Put the passenger sides here so I can show you how to remove it on the passenger side door. Okay, just push the center of this in and then pull it out. To get to your mirror you want to remove this triangle. Uh, there's a little pin in here if you either you can just either pull firmly or use a screwdriver by lightly and pull at the same time and then that comes right off. Okay. And then you should pull your water shield back a little bit. Okay, I'll try not to rip it or stretch it too much. And your harness plugs in right here. Press down on the tab, the disconnect the harness, pull it through, then use a screwdriver, there's a little clip here, push down on the top, and then pull out, okay, and then up from the bottom, pull that out. Now you can see there's three 10 millimeter bolts that hold uh, the mirror in. And first we'll remove the screw so we can move the speaker out of the way. Fast forward here as I use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screw for the speaker, then carefully let the speaker hang down. 
Then use a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet extension or a wrench would work as well and remove the three bolts that hold the mirror. Okay, the original mirror has a little assembly line clip just so they can kind of clip the, the mirror on there. Um, and you just kind of have to pull it just nice and firm and work it around a little bit. There's your mirror out. Now the new mirrors from 1A Auto, just like the original, uh, they come molded in black plastic. Obviously you can install them um, and they'll make a functional replacement. Uh, it just wouldn't be the same color as your vehicle. If you want to paint them to match the vehicle, you can be as crude as just getting some paint from a hardware store that is a close match. Or if you want a good match, uh, go to an automotive parts store that has a paint department. They can usually match the color pretty well, put some in an air charged can, and you can uh, spray it yourself. You'd want to tape off the mirror surface, uh, make sure that you don't paint the gasket. Um, but obviously my original mirror is fine, so reinstallation is just a reverse of the procedure. Make sure you put the harness right through. Put the mirror on. Speed it up here again, start all three bolts in first, and then tighten them with your wrench or socket and ratchet, and you want to make them firm, not over tight. Okay, put your harness, plug it in, put this all back in place, and I think your speaker, put it back up in, and we'll it in place. And I'm going to kind of speed up the tape as I put the door panel back on. Uh, it's pretty easy once you've gotten it off, but you can probably pick up enough right here. Um, hang the door panel up on top of the sill. Make sure you get the lock button in. Um, then engage all the clips around the edge. And then put uh, all the rest of the screws and trim and stuff back in. If you want to see this in regular speed, just check out our other videos for uh, the Forerunner door panel installation. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.